Hey, welcome to this uh, SSD. It's still the Arc Linux B Plasma from November 2018. And this is the Arc Linux Plasma Challenge. So keep on rolling is the message and we keep on making videos. And everything I do and touch and change is all on video, ever, everything, okay? So last time we did a scale and there are some dangers about doing this scale. It's gonna copy paste your content of ETC scale let him drive by. It's gonna copy paste your etc scale to um, your home directory. I'm go gonna close the door, maybe a little bit less noise for the microphone. Now, there is a tutorial online. If I press Ctrl Alt G, Chromium is coming up. And if we can go to articlelinux.com, a lot is explained in here. Scale killed my settings. I just was a victim of that, okay? So it is something specific that we in Articlinux have because we want to have a system that out of the box is, is just working the way we want. But we added a keyboard shortcut from, for Spectacle and I press my control print screen, nothing happens. So I killed my own um, keyboard shortcut. So how can we prevent this? How can we work around this? How should we work? So it's uh, already explained in here, but since I'm, well, said that I will film everything, I'm gonna do this here as well. Because I want my control print screen to work again. What's important is that most of the settings, not all, super, shift, return, and um, enter, return, yes. Most of the settings are either control H, inside.config, or inside your local. So control C, control V makes your top make it copy paste. That's not mine with an E. Thinking about Nemo, mine, 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 you know, the seagulls. So this is your thing. I just made a copy paste. So these guys are exactly the same thing. Melt menu. We've made that melt menu in the last video. And the only difference is the recent documents that we've opened, thing, things that we've done. But it's exactly the same thing. Because this guy is not on, and that's what's important, all the others, okay? Now, I've done something similar in the past because this SSD has already a config mine. So we can actually compare what my config is, what I think is good, and what our Linux thinks is good. Only things that change are the files that are in ETC scale. Everything stays the same for the rest. So when you do a melt menu, compare selected file folders and, and files here, you get a long list. And it's the, not these things like Atom. That's probably not what we're interested in. Uh, GIMP is gone by now. So I've used GIMP at some point in time. So I'm going to re-update my system my config so the left one is the result from an etc scale and the right one used to be my config mine but gimp i delete gimp here accelerations for scm are not important but if you think they are you just do Control a Control c Control a delete Control v now the files are identical so that's the way how you can uh, go about it and it's also the way to analyze what's going on with my system what did I change here we change something else we said that um, we changed the names I see so it's it's a rather minimal approach of a desktop file setup so I'm gonna copy paste that over to mine eh? the, the one that's gonna be the backup this is for my Corsair keyboard so that's new I'm gonna go over there Dropbox desktop is just some names that can go here as well. And this can go because it's already up here. No doubles. And then it's simple. Then it won't show up. And if later on next time, when you do a, a link here and we update, refresh, these things won't show up anymore. And so we know really know what's the difference between left and right. So Atom, out to start. I don't want Latte Doc anymore in the future, so that's out. Chromium, that's just browsers and all that. 
I do want to keep my settings for my keyboard. So that's in. We've changed something in the Lua from desktop to normal in this conkey. So I'm gonna follow Arch Linux's code in that. Just a picture, PNG, copy to right, breaking bad. New thing, copy to the right. Examples, so pictures, copy to the right. Replace, medallion, pictures, copy to the right. And all these are pictures. Okay, copy to the right. And all pictures, copy to the right. So that's, of course, simple. There's a new uh, system bar conkey, so we need a new Lua. Copy to the right, replace. We can have already another refresh. If it gets too much, we delete ev everything just like that. Well, delete, refresh. What am I saying? Refresh. Medallion. But these are all your decisions. I mean, it's all about conkeys and you can do this in one go. I think we can do it like that. Copy to the right, replace, and everything is replaced. Now Discord uh, doesn't seem to be, oh yeah, it's a version number. So 0008, so that's gone. And it's now the, the, the nine there, but it's not important if you update or not. Uh, Discord will just figure it out himself. There are no specific settings for it anyway. And here we seem to have changed um, some settings, definitely. So if you say, okay, I like these settings, I'm gonna keep the ones from Arc Linux. And this guy can go. Files are, at, are identical. Gconf, I used to have Gconf. Don't have it now. Mm, what's in here? Not sure, well, not sure, leave it in. Genie, files type readme. Definitions, all kind of things. That's just a readme file. So that's uh, not important. Gonna move it away so I don't see it with I when I refresh. So this is all Genie. Um, Genie Comp seems to have changed. Oh yeah, there was a user who got it, gave us a tip. Follow path is true. That's a good uh, solution to um, if you have you can have a terminal in Genie and when you move from tab to tab, it also falls in the terminal inside Genie. That's the thing. GTK2 is out. Let's kill that one. Inkscape, well, let's kill it as well. And the KD connect, what's the difference? Uh, a lot of gibberish. Um, if you don't know, leave it at that. Latte, I'm not, not gonna use Latte anymore. I'm gonna use these guys. These are accounts, databases, things. Probably you can't, I clicked on it, but probably unreadable. So I'm gonna move these guys just over. And this one as well. Then there are the new fetch stuff. This is old, can go. And all the medallion PNGs, copy to the right. And that's how we actually figure out what changed. We've made new lines here for the medallion icons. Okay, so put in some lines in there as well. So next time, you compare with your config mine, you know that's the last version you have and you decided to have, and that's an easy way to just quickly have a look. Now it's a lot of work, but it will get better. So the plank, I don't think, do we still have plank? Good question. I think we killed plank at some point in time. We said plasma, no plank. It's okay, plank is out then, good for me. So I'm deleting plank here, it's all gone, should be gone, looks strange, so I'm gonna refresh, see that plank is out. Don't see plank anymore, do I? That's genie, here is plank, plank was in. but it's not active is it Control shift escape plank is not active so we did to decide did decide not to use it so i'll delete it as well here praga praga database for the music well it's gonna delete it 
menus. It's an empty folder anyway, delete it. Pulse is not important for audio things. This one is important. Qt5 CTF conf. Gonna keep this one. Copy to the right. Session. Can actually delete all this stuff. This is not the, the right one is not the actual configuration. Eh? It's the config mine. Eh? My backup. Eh? Spotify data, unimportant. Sublime text, actually unimportant, but just leave it there. I mean, doesn't hurt either. Trison configuration, I'm using yay. And variety, just close it because, let's have a look. The most important thing is set wallpaper. There was an update, it's true, it's true, but it's just text in here. There's text change in here as well. So actually the application is just changed here, but that's for PSPWM and we're on Plasma. So anyway, it's in and it's in and some text changes here as well. And here, if you're an awesome, we're not an awesome a notification, it seems, but it's text. So it won't bother us text as well here. Some changes for Xmonad, for Qtile, and we have the same. So we did change some of the code. They changed, so the variety developer changed some of the code and we've changed some of the code. We've all these by hanging there. VLC, maybe you changed your, the look of VLC, how VLC looks in the sense of sizes and all that. You see here lots of elements. So if you would say, no, mine is better then yours is better. And then you go from right to left and I follow my own settings. You see, this is 306, here is 304 with some changes, new stuff, probably new version, new parameters. Here is something green as well. So you see at the side here, all the color changes, and then you know where to scroll to. So here is another one, more or less here, the blue one there, and a green one here. So if you say, well, maybe I should just take everything and just see, and then open up VLC and see if it's still the same, what you want to have. Whisker menu, that's for VLC. I'm sorry for XFC, so really doesn't matter. You don't have a menu here, but it's part of the XFC package. When you install Tunar, um, it's gonna load also settings from here. And you can just, well, skip everything or just copy paste everything to the right. It won't be used, your ARM Plasma. Keyboard shortcuts, we did make some new keyboard shortcuts, a conky toggle, aim rotate conky. Uh, so these things are new. And some panel stuff. Well, easier control A, control C, control A, control V. Like I said, it's unimportant. YouTube, not important. And now we're starting to get to where I want it to be. So a long video, just analyze everything really in detail. So okay, version 13, version 12, fine. Let's move to another version. This is my backup, my config mine. Troll tech stuff. We've changed some elements. This is 11, this is 12. You see, you might decide I want my own palette. This was okay. Don't change whatever I had. But if you want to have a new library path, no problem. And if I want to include this green stuff, fine by me. But my coloring stays the same. Okay, save. We, you need to update as well from time to time. Folders, filters, not sure what it's gonna do. Powered is true, it has it twice, but it's an other number. Okay, go in there. 
discover RC. That's how the size should look. Copy to the uh, left is correct. Dolphin RC, we've changed some things in here. The weight, the height, the weight. Arclink's profile is gone. Height, how high it should be. Favorites profile, timings, preview sizes, heights, state, the width, completion mode. So all the things you like and have, want to have, put them back. That's basically the message. Gonna get to my keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna skip all these. But actually, it's the most important thing, Eric. So don't skip it. So this is not the most important thing, but the others are a little bit down there. So these are all choices, choices and colors that I've made at some point in time, a little bit different, as you see. It's created on March. This one is created on July. So you either decide to keep your own to the right or you decide to keep the left. I'm gonna keep the left and now it's completely identical. GTK RC2 has been created. Control A, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. But you will always have these, well, updates, right? And these things that change. You can have these dialogues back. Up, done, save. And elements favorites, things, browser system settings, contact, con all decisions we've made at some point in time to have. Let's have this one over. Yeah, those are just numbers that change. Kate, Katie, Katie. Katie sounds very Familiar, friendly. I see as a reference with my keyboard in here, but let's get ahead to KTRC here. So we've done an Arco Linux profile, we've made that one. Modified notification false, start obsession manual, backup flags as false. So they've changed zero to false, I suppose, and one is true, possibly. Remote is false, show spaces was false, so zero will be false. Modification is true. Those were my settings. Oh, another one. Wow, search history, okay, whatever. Main window and how big it is. This is my new setting. Breeze, start, dummy, prevent, empty, group. Don't think that's relevant for me. The syntax highlighting, GRC. No idea what it is, but I like it. Copy to the left. KCM fonts, don't change settings, false, force, etc. Sounds good. Get from there to there. Shell R56. Recent files, conky properties, how big, etc. Sounds like good settings. Copy to the left. Almost at my place to be. These are just numbers, C time numbers, change time probably. KD5RC, show plasma integration. Okay, fine. Have that as well. KD globals. Okay, the background, normal, foreground, those were color choices at some point in time. I don't know, let's see. It's gonna change a lot of stuff. Okay, Control A, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V, save. Done. KD dialogs. Yeah, okay. Not that important. Okay, font in RC. I don't know. 
it is true that um, plasma has some so many things files in there that you should really spend a year on it i think to actually know what every file does but this is where i wanted to get at so in this text there are my keyboard shortcuts and these are the new ones from scale to the left and it deleted also my other one from spectacle now the ones are coming from that are coming from article links are of course important i want to have those but i don't want to lose my own so fine you have me you have me once but let's figure out a way to make sure next time it will be fine so this is the file that actually is going to well gather all my keyboard shortcuts so once more i'm gonna set my keyboard shortcut since it's really really gone and then next time where are my keyboard shortcuts here there we could actually make a new one new group and call that mine like in everything else we've done until now mine right and then edit new global command url oh no escape yeah true it was okay so rename this thing can't we rename you yes we can um spectacle right okay spectacle trigger none control print screen action spectacle GUI, which is a g is enough already and when i press ctrl alt print screen i have it again now back to where the essentials are refresh this thing and ask again the difference between these global shortcuts thingy so that's all unimportant this might though this might so i'm gonna copy that to the right discord gconf genie pulse sessions blind text variety vivaldi xfc and here we are at the root of your dot config and now where are my keyboard shortcuts there at the top so kde daemon uh, if you like to call it that way that's okay and for the rest we have this control print screen with spectacle and then we get this one in okay if we get this one in everything is the same files are identical fine save let's kill this again hold n first let's do a scale when you do a scale you overwrite everything again okay you overwrite everything again and you get back into your melt ask again refresh please go to the file let's scroll down oh well, it's too long better to open and close some folders like so and then we are at the globals now i seem to misplace it where is it now all right i've been a bit troubled but i promise to show you everything i go through so here it is the video is not maybe that educational in the end but um promise is a promise so when you do a melt after doing several scales of mine um or control print screen is still in there and that's because um, I was having 
already i did have we do have already in the etc scale config this is what we provide for kde right and in here is a k hot keys rc that's something we provide and there is already something in there called spectacle now if you press this button and again and again you'll soon find something here it is i think meta print super print but i have control print but it's in here somewhere already that the control print is going to be spectacle so it seems that it's already in here where did i see it i saw it just earlier on was investigating what happened shift print is here in there as well so there seems to be something um, already present meta print do we have control print here is control i believe that's what we called it control shift d control d control v uh, I think we've gone through all of them. So there might be a conflict between both of them. That may be something, a reason why it's acting strange now. And why the video is a little bit, um, well, rubbish. Let's say it like it is. But it still stays the same in the sense that this is the way to go. If you really want to analyze what's, what you have, what you have and what we give and check out the differences and see and decide for yourself what to keep and what not to keep. So we have this thing off, then you see only the differences and you are becoming quite um, adept at this thing. Once you start doing this, you know that Atom is not important, Chrome is not important, Deconfuser, maybe there are some information things in there copy to the right would be the good thing so it's a kind of database that um, some of the applications not plasma probably but some of the applications use it to get their data in there so something might have changed in here for instance for plank or stuff like that discord is super unimportant gconf is i think import unimportant as well so i'm gonna delete this guy here genie um well, if you have special settings, you can have a look, but not important for me. So Plank is here again because of the fact that it's coming from ETC Scale. So, okay, whatever, let him be there. Pulse as well, Session, Sublime Text, Variety, Vivaldi. So the Vivaldi and the Variety, the these are all wallpapers. So that's also super unimportant. The scripts, we've changed the scripts. Let's scroll back. Oh, no. Closed up, Vivaldi, XFCE, it's not. Um, Baloo file RS uh, maybe, well, maybe, right? I don't know. Dolphin might be something interesting. Dolphin is this super shift return thing. That's your file manager. We've probably changed some elements, some looks, maximized. We know maximized is that. So that's probably good now. Uh, cancel because I'm gonna save okay drag and play email things if those were things you were uh, working with and you like those things you copy to the left of again so it's back in there and then all these files that really I have to learn just like you guys what it all is but Kate is in here check some highlight Motis bash, Motis ini files. So if you're working more in bash things, maybe I did change this for real. So I want this to be active. There are unimportant things in here, in here as well. For sure unimportant things in here but okay 
let's uh, leave it at that close without saving save save gate rc that's more important show space is false so the false and the true that seems to be something new in plasma going to change the the way they write it zero is false okay the globals that's an important one they seem to have stopped using these lines version we always copied them back to here but we'll see the effect later so these were the colors i used to have before Control A, Control C, Control A, Control V. And here are these hotkeys. So let's see what else. That's it. Ah, here it is. Some new Conky Toggle is new. Meta C. So you're in. In my own backup. So the right was the backup, remember? And what's actually working is the left one. So Gonki Tohol was working. And here we have a new one. And so I was experimenting while you were not watching with shortcuts for linux no it's uh, not here so i deleted it again but it might be still that the file has is still here because of it that seems to be a rather long file I don't know where this is coming from. False and true. I used to be true, so back to true. Lots of files in this, right? Lots of things to learn. Okay. Maximize. Seems we had change a change in the heart. At some point we decided to take the Numix project look, not this look. And things change. Let's get this in. So, spectacle or C, the settings with JPEG. We said JPEG in the other video. Lost saved file, okay. Should we, okay, print, and okay. And videos, that's not okay. But whatever. It should be pictures actually, control Z. This should be it, I think. Like so. That's better. Startup configurations. We don't want to see any splash themes. None. A little bit more, I think. It's not 96, the normal DPI, 102. So it's really, really, I get it, complex. If you're watching this video, you think, oh my God, what is he doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. 
Well, most of the time I don't. I'm really honest about that. But um, it's it's a matter of getting used to all these codes. It's not that it's Chinese, but it looks like it. But it's um, it's getting used to reading all the code that makes us smarter about Plasma and KDE. Don't be afraid if this thing is going to crash. Reinstall it. Boom. All right. And figure it out again. Screen key is for my application. Power the will. RC. Batical. Battery critical action. My friend. I don't have a battery. Plasma notifier. Application discord scene is true. Vivaldi scene is true. Fine. You saw me. Plasma orc. Those are all the backgrounds in here. Just gonna keep this guy. Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. Copy pasting it over. Ha, huh, look at that. They've changed the way they format the language. That's strange because the right one is the correct one. In my Archlex eyes. The right one is the correct one. Okay. And I guess the new plasma is changing things. This is just empty text. Now it's the same. What's this? Guy file down a screenshot made at some point in time. Okay. Ocular. Bye bye. Mime apps list latte talk latte. We don't do latte. And yes, we can get that one to the right. Mime apps list is that not important? Get them in anyway. The syscard so the application control shift escape. This one I have changed some settings, it seems. Now it's those settings again. Service menu used to be true. Plasma volt is a new parameter. Here we have the set argument true and false. And another one, a new parameter. Okay, save. Screen lock. We have had a choice in the past. Don't do this anymore. Okay, runner out and just copy paste it over. We know the left thing is working. That's always gonna be safe. The left thing is working right now. So that's a way to proceed as well. That's how you can change. This is gonna be a dreadful long video. Sorry about that. But we were going to record just everything. Deleted that thing. So use your own common sense to actually change these things because this is my Rode microphone thingy. That's okay. And sizes, whatever. And this one, I guess I don't need that one anymore. And these are gone as well. I did record my video, so not gonna need it, I guess. Split false was too much. Save. What's this? I don't know. It's all part of your system. So I'm gonna copy paste it anyway, even though, even if I don't know what it is, why it's there. Did I create something in the past? I might have done, I don't know. Let's keep it for now. Okay, help center. Let's kill this one. Kill this one. Group splitter sizes. Bye. This thing has all numbers and jumbo thingies. Control A, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. Save. 
So if I don't know, I'm just going to take the left one, which is the one that's working. That might be best, I think. Common sense. You get far by using it. And don't be afraid to screw it up. Reinstall. So be it. But in the meantime, you've learned a lot. So refresh. Atom, unimportant. Chromium, unimportant. Discord, unimportant. Gconf, the folder is empty. Gone. Genie, templates readme, unimportant. Plank, unimportant. Pulse, unimportant. A session is just what it is. A session, variety, Vivaldi, which command you just copy to the right. It's not XFCE. And then we have this one, a system settings. Well, call it system settings. <clears throat> now we have the same thing. Last time, refresh. And then we conclude the video. We boot up again and see what doesn't work. <laughs> Part of our job. Discord, Genie, Plank, Pulse, Session, Sublime, Variety, Vivaldi. That's it. So now the left and the right are exactly the same. Um, the un these are unimportant things. But the rest is, is the same. And we'll reboot and see what's going to happen. 